Uh, I have two questions, if we have time. Uh, first one is for Liz. Um, you gave an example for so for a supplier. I totally get it, using the you know agile approach. But from a sponsor standpoint, where like ninety five percent of the systems that we get are cots, right? Um, how do we implement agile uh, methodology uh, in that scenario where you know we really don't have the option of releasing parts of a system to the user to the to the business? We really have to just release the whole system. Uh, how do you do? You have examples of how you can incorporate agile in in that scenario? Well. Cots implies that it's somewhat configurable. So you can use the same Scrum framework where you're gonna focus on configuring the most critical components or the ones that are used most by your end users. So even in a COTS implementation, you could add value or release value sooner based on the different components or different modules of the software that would be used first by your end users. Another approach you can take from a validation standpoint is focus on validating those parts of the software that have direct regulatory impact. I know when I worked on the sponsor side, we would sometimes use other components of the system, but very clearly explain that those parts wouldn't be validated because they didn't have regulatory impact or the, the, the risk was very low. Got it. 